Okay, let's take a look around this uh, 1998 Land Rover Defender 90 XD, um, otherwise known as a Wolf, 300 TDI. Uh, this one's just been released from military service. We're just, um, we've applied to the DVLA for, uh, for its registration. Uh, it flew straight through an MOT last week with no advisories. Um, paperwork is with the DVLA at the minute, so um, hopefully it'll be registered soon. Um, but yeah, as always, finished in NATO IRR drab. Uh, this one is the waterproof version with the with the snorkel on it, uh, and this one's also had the Remus upgrade with the um, rollover protection system in the front as well as the rear, and the uh, the full matting, um, and apparently dinitrolled and wax oiled chassis and stuff and a couple of other bits. This one's also got um, which I haven't seen before on a Wolf, but it is obviously a, a military fitment as it's just come out of the um, the military. Uh, instead of the spare wheel being mounted on the left hand side it's mounted on a swing away carrier on the um, uh, on the back of it uh, and there's also a rear step and sideways opening tailgate that swings out so uh, presumably they did that at the same time to make it easier for squaddies to jump in and out of them also fitted with uh, Michelin tires rather than the more common Goodyear G90s I've, I've read up somewhere that the um, uh, the waterproof ones do have the Michelin tyres, they're more expensive, but apparently they're better for, uh, for what it was designed to do. Other than that, standard military spec, military front bumper, um, all the fittings on the bonnet for various tools and bits of equipment, military hood. Inside it's standard spec, two seats in the front and twin benches in the back with um, inertia reel seat belts in the back as well as the front. Anyway, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. I think the paint is largely original. I don't think it's, um, well, it ha certainly hasn't been repainted since it left military service because they just come to us. Um, so there's one or two areas of paint flaking, but not, not really very much at all, in fairness, given that it is uh, 21 years old now. Around the top end, the aerial bases are sort of getting a little bit um, rust bubbling up on those. But around the front end, it all looks... Pretty good aside from that. No major dents anywhere. Um, still got its tyre pressure markings on the uh, on the wheel arch eyebrows. Now we did take some photos underneath, which are on our website, um, of the chassis while it's being MOT'd, but I'll show you in there now. I must admit, if that chassis's been under sealed, it's a damn long time ago. This one, perhaps this one escaped the underseal. Um, up here on the scuffle, near side, all looks pretty good. A little bit of paint loss on the um, screen rubber. Um, I'm sure that camouflaged them immensely, painting a screen rubber green. And a bit of paint loss on the mirror arm there. But it is authentic, you know, it's authentic military, this one. Um, modesty covers lost couple of chips of paint down there and there's a bit of uh, quite heavy electrolytic reaction on the back of the door frame there. Inside, as I say, all its military kit is present and correct including the map light which works. There's the front rollover protection system bar. It's got um, storage in it for a couple of I think they're SA-80s rifles. Um, passenger seat couple of marks on it but it will clean up it's not split at all um, and as I say we've got the the matting system in there as well it's all really exactly as it left military service um, this door frame is okay so it's just bubbling up a bit on the skin at the back here and it's starting to, the skin is just starting to delaminate slightly just down here Near side rear wing, all good. Foot side, all good. Around the tail end, we've got a little bit of bubbling up just down there. And then around.
round on this side. We're missing, looks like it's missing this plug here. There should be a, there's a blanking plug there and it's missing on that side, I think. Not sure what should go in there. Um, it's got the NATO tow hook and the NATO towing uh, socket down there. Otherwise, all as it should be. Um, down the offside, driver's door fit could be slightly better. Go along there, down there. Slight blemish just on the wheel arch just there. Again, hood side, all nice. And look underneath there. Modesty cover on this side's lost a bit of its paint down there. And there's a slight parking dink just there in the barrel side of the driver's door. Um, bit of paint loss on the edge of the bulkhead here and a dent there, obviously where this door has swung open into it. Um, this offside front wing. And again, we'll have a little look underneath that. And up here on the scuffle. proper snorkel and then in here slight nick in the vinyl on the driver's seat just there but otherwise no nothing nasty at all yeah this this door has sprung out has been caught by the wind or something because it has bent the, the uh, uh, retaining strap bracket a little bit but otherwise it's even got its IRR flap that you put them, so the, um, the convoy mode flap that you can put up, it's still there. But yeah, all good. I like it. We sell quite a few wolves, and um, this is, uh, in my opinion, is a rather good one. My name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com. It's moto-drome.com. End.